Kadyrov's armoured car convoy could advance towards Moscow. Expert, junior sergeant, grenade launcher of the 5th Separate Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, one of the authors of the book Liquidation of the Russian Empire, Yuri Sirotyuk, in an interview with Radio NV, spoke about the significance of the raids of Russian volunteers. We are observing a very interesting phenomenon, Russia's rapid loss of its own sovereignty as a result of the Russian-Ukrainian war. Internal sovereignty, first external. Russia has lost control of its own borders. Russia's western borders are uncertain. When we are now talking about the events in the Belgorod and Kursk regions over the past week, I want to remind you of other events. Back in December last year, the FSB of the Russian Federation, together with other punitive agencies, created a special group to combat manifestations of extremism, separatism and nationalism in the Kursk and Belgorod regions. That is, there indeed were anti-Russian sentiments in this territory if special groups were created. Putin felt his regime was threatened. Accordingly, now we see the key point that Russia, which undermined and said that Ukraine has no sovereignty, is today depriving itself of sovereignty. The key point in all this was March the 17th. On March the 17th, Russia lost any legitimate power in the form of a legally elected president. Because what is that president who is elected in the occupied territories, which are not recognized by the international community, where it is impossible to ensure order in the elections? When we see that the Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, Sergei Shoigu, and the Chief of the General Staff of the Russian Federation, Valery Gerasimov, vote, and how will that Putin cannon fodder vote? Hundreds, thousands of his best people, as he calls them, if they go on meat assaults? It is clear that they will not have any voting, but most importantly, Putin undermines internal sovereignty because the Russians believe that they lived in a great country that no one would ever attack, no one could invade its territory, and there would always be order, peace and greatness. And today Putin brought the war to the territory of the Russian Federation. The military expert noted that Russia is a fragile country, and in the current situation, Kadyrov could advance on Moscow tomorrow in armored cars. <laughs> Вот с такими военными они воюют. У меня, бля, рот просто, просто рот не работает, все. Вот пизда. Не могу сказать. Вот кусками поражающими оторвало полдом. Вот здесь, смотрите, вот сейчас здесь горит девочка маленькая, заживо. Все, ее нет. Отец успел выйти. Смотрите, с мразями, что воюют. Кто воюет? С кем они воюют, сука? И что они делают? Вот так вот, бля. Так. Russia's Belgorod region came under missile attack from the territory of Ukraine on March 17, Russian media reported. Some 17 apartment buildings, 9 houses, and 3 civilian infrastructure buildings were reportedly damaged in the strikes, which were said to have been launched by RM-70 Vampire rocket launchers. Casualties have been reported. It should be noted that starting from March 12, the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion comprised of Russians fighting against the Russian army as part of the Ukrainian army, targeted Belgorod region. Russian fighters fighting against Russia claim that the strikes will hit military facilities and the positions of Russian troops. They have demanded the regional administration to evacuate civilians. In addition to the rocket attacks on the territory of the province, ground operations are also carried out with short breaks. Thank you.